Hey, everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. You know my guest this evening from Forgetting Sarah Marshall, How I Met Your Mother, and Dispatches from Elsewhere. His new film is called Our Friend. Please welcome to A Late Show, Jason Siegel. Hey, Jason. Hey, good to see you, man. Nice to see you, too. Last time we were together was February, I think. It was right before everything came to a screeching halt. Where were you yeah. when, when everything... I haven't talked to you since then. Where were you when, when, when basically everybody had to lock down? Yeah, I, um, I live in a little farm town, like a couple hours north of Los Angeles. And so I was there, and I was there for most of the lockdown. Um, I live on a big orange grove, I think we've talked about. We have so talked about was, it. Yes, I know, I know that that's interesting to you. It is to me, too. It is. It's not very that interesting, interesting to me. Else, but I love it. Um, so yeah, I was there for most of the time. I would just walk around the orange grove mm -hmm. and eventually I just started to feel like the last man on earth. I mean, I'm sure everybody felt that way being, being locked up. Wait, were you alone? Um, were you alone for this? I was, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just you and the oranges. Yeah, yeah just me and, and the oranges in my brain, man. It's not, it wasn't a good look. <laughs> yeah, you know. The chamber of solitude up here. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to solve problems that can't be solved and don't exist, you know? Um, but yeah, and then I got really, really lucky. There was that lull in the middle where we thought maybe things were calming down. And I went and I shot a movie in Humboldt County in Northern California in the Redwoods. Mm -hmm. And so that was nice oh. to break up. The year. Yeah, it was, it was very, very beautiful. How are you? How are you uh, keep what? A lot of people have turned to exercise to keep their brain from uh, scrambling. I even considered it for a while. Have you <laughs> have have you been have you been uh, keeping yourself sane? I have. I, you know what? I decided that I was going to use this period to start uh, addressing the things in my life that caused me a lot of anxiety. Mm. And I've been uh, I was going to say out of shape. I've been fat <laughs> for a long time in my life. And every, every morning I wake up like, God, I wish I wasn't this way. And so I started walking. I started walking, um, honestly, like 10 miles a day for almost every day during quarantine. And wow. uh, it has been really, really lovely. How did you always, do you always get it in? Like, oh, always. No rain or shine, what. rain or shine, like even like at home or up in, what about when you were up in yeah. the Redwoods? Were you out there with the Sasquatchies? Wow. With a Sasquatch yeah. up in the Redwoods? There's a whole town devoted to that, by the way, up there that is like, Sasquatch is there, according to them. I know. I worked for The Daily Show in 1998. I know where the yes. Sasquatches are. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. So there's one there. Um, I also, I would drive myself to national parks when they were still open. Uh -huh. I took myself to Lassen Volcanic National Park because I had a few days off. And I decided I would where take is that? myself I'm sorry, where is that? It's in Northern California, like right. in the middle of the state. Yeah, okay. it's it's geothermic. There's like steam coming up. I decided I was going to have like a into the wild kind of day, uh, and so I I packed up a big backpack and I took off on a hike. And I made a very what I will call a very boy decision, which is that I walked for until I got tired, but did not factor in that you then have to walk back. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think even one step ahead. And uh, I got so tired that at one point I was all alone and I knew what I needed to do. And I sat down <laughs> and I just cried. I'm not embarrassed to say I sat on a log and cried and really? cried. It was about other stuff. Is it okay if I'm I embarrassed? <laughs> you know what? I was, <laughs> I was proud of myself for letting it out. Uh, and I said to myself, Jason, someday you're going to come back here and this will be easy. Oh, okay. And so that, that's my goal for next year. Oh, and uh, speaking of uh, this year, next year, happy birthday was yesterday, right? How many years have we been on the planet? I've been on the planet for 41 years. Oh, that's yeah. nothing, man. That's nothing. That's what I keep hearing. That's nice. But I hear it from people who are, I don't hear it from kids. <laughs> no. no. No young kids say 41 is nothing. No. No, no, no. But they, they don't know. Well, I will tell you this. On this movie I just did, there were co-stars uh, who, as far as I could tell, were adults. 
But they, they all call me Mr. Siegel. Ooh. Were, were any of these your love interest in the movie? No, no, thank God. But they would say things like, you were a big part of my childhood. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, I get guests yeah. who come on and say, I've loved you since sixth grade. Oh, yeah. 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 But you know what? Beats the alternative, right? We're still kicking. What'd you do for your birthday? How'd you celebrate? How'd you make it special for Jason Siegel? That's a nice question. I, uh, I took a big long walk and there, you know, there's not much you can do. So I took this big long walk and I've been eating very healthy all year. So I had my, uh, I, there's like a food trend in LA called the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Oh sure, I've had People one. They're long fantastic, line. yeah. Yeah, so I had my first Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Yeah, that was about That's it. That's it? That's all. I mean, what are, what are we gonna do? There's not much else know. to do. I don't I've know. I've done everything. I've done everything there is to do. We have to take a quick break, uh, but when we return, Jason has another story about going for a walk. 